Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight. Uh, oh. What was the title I was using? Alleged tactician, or something like that, I think. No, alleged medical professional. Right, right, right. <laughs> you can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello. Hello. Arknights. Oh, speaking of Arknights, I can't forget. Even though I have forgotten. Can't forget the movie. Can't forget the movie. Absolutely essential. <clears throat> anyway, so, tonight, Arknights. Yeah. Might... I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how the time goes. I might, I might go for a little bit of a short stream tonight, or I might not, who knows. We'll find out as, as things happen, I suppose. But yeah, speaking of things happening, uh, the week happened quite a bit. <laughs> this entire week happened quite a bit, so I wasn't able to stream on Monday, and here I am, having had to reschedule for this Saturday, or, yeah, today. <laughs> but yes. So yes, at least I'm streaming on the same day. But yeah, so I've gotten some VODs up. The two latest Arknights VODs are currently up as of right now. And then the, yeah, the Coffee Talk VOD is not yet ready. Yeah, it is, it is uploaded, but I need to go over the description and all that. Yeah, I haven't been putting the timestamps in the most recent VODs like I'd like to, because I haven't had uh, the time to do it recently. Yeah, I do hope to remedy that before too long. I don't want this to become a habit, but at this point I figured it would be best to just get them up and have them viewable. And we'll worry about the precise details later on. So yes. So, as I was saying, tonight we're going to be playing Ark Knights, and I suppose there's nothing else to really say about the week. This is the end of the streaming week for me. So, Next week, I'm hoping to uh, hoping to stream on Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, as I understand it, uh, for the most part, I won't be working as much, if at all, on Tuesdays going forward, at least for the immediate future at work. So yeah, so Tuesday might end up being a little bit of a better day for me. But yeah, so we will see what the first stream of the week when it ends up being. One way or the other, though, it will be Ark Knights, if I have my way. Assuming nothing drastically terrible happens. Yeah, Wednesday should be the continuation of the ongoing collab series with Sheppy Sheps. And then next Saturday, we should be seeing some more Ark Knights once again. And I don't think I mentioned the name of the collab, so we're playing Coffee Talk. That's the game. Coffee Talk. And I think that should be the majority of the things that need to be said, if not everything that needs to be said. I always feel like I'm forgetting something, but... Oh well. Anyway, video games. Don't want to delay too much, especially if we're going to be having a bit of a short stream today. But yes. So, last time, we began... We began Operation 3-8. And let me tell you, that was a rough one. <laughs> But yeah, that was uh, quite the challenge. But yeah, we've faced worse, or at least we've faced stages for longer. Hopefully this one won't be one to two streams long, like last time. Or, well, not last time, but like some of the harder stages that we have faced. Yes. Hello there, TCO. Good to see you. Hello, hello. But yes, so, we started up Operation 3-8... We weren't able to finish it, and so here's hoping that we, you know, can do that. But yeah, I reviewed the footage from last week, and I'm going to try... I suppose we'll get right into it. No need to wait around too much. But yes, I'm going to try my yes, best in general, but... The game sounds a little bit quiet to me, but I think that might just be my audio settings. I have changed my audio setup a little bit. It shouldn't be perceptible to anyone else, but it is different for me. Take aim. Draw swords. Thrust. 
But yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, my typical strategy in this game is to more or less just try to funnel enemies into a specific choke point or a few different ones. And I've gotten the impression from watching what I have watched and uh, of my own gameplay that maybe that isn't necessarily the best thing to do, at least not on this specific map. Okay, I think I let that guy go a little bit too long. Because yeah, now we're going to need to heal Texas a little bit sooner than I was expecting. So yes, I sure hope that I have enough I have enough uh, points to deploy... Uh, I hope that I have enough points to deploy cement when I so desire. Hmm. Yeah, we should be okay. So we will see. So yes. So, what I typically do is what I had been doing, which is to say, placing a character such as cement, in this case, in a position such as that. Awaiting orders. Let's see, that's, yeah, okay, that's definitely not anywhere near Everyone, the appropriate range to hit Skull Shatterer. I was kind of hoping that I would be able to, but it would Let's seem begin. that that is not Let's going to be... Hmm, hold on, did I not... Got it. No, Texas is leveled up. I was going to say, that enemy seems to be rather tough, but... Roger. Might okay. just be the... Yeah, I don't know. It might just be that they are tough. Oh well. Take them out fast. Given circumstances, I think now is an appropriate time to... Ooh, that was maybe a little bit too... Right, right, right. I forgot. I'm supposed to deploy gummy. Don't force hmm. my hand. We could have done this a little bit better, I think. But it's not too Awaiting bad. Nexus. No, that is not in range. Ready I should move. remove Chen because she cannot. Yeah, she cannot survive where she is. <laughs> in short, Susie I can use her skill, and we might just be wrapping up Skull Shatter here. Ah, hmm. All right, we let an enemy pass through, but we have had the best result that we've had so far, which is to say that Skull Shatter was defeated. That's nice. So, Everyone, I would count me. that as a success, I think. That seems perfectly move. fine. So, the big yeah, issue has been dealt with. I imagine at this point we're probably going to beat the stage, even if uh, not with a perfect rating like I might like. But, it did work. The slightly revised strategy yeah, did work. Yeah. And I could have easily placed Durnar a little bit sooner to achieve the same result with a little bit less mess. Hmm. Okay, we're going to need a little bit more... a little bit more power here. Yes, sir. Hold the line. Hmm. We also need a little bit more damage, so I should probably be perhaps more careful with how I use uh, Exusiae's skills. But we are doing pretty good. Go ahead. Target locked. But yes, there have been a few close calls and a failure. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with what we've achieved here. Anyway, as I was saying, so my usual strategy is basically what I did there to try and concentrate enemy forces in one or two locations and just deal with them where they lie. And I was wondering if maybe that, well, I don't know. It's not a matter really of whether or not it's effective because it can be effective and it cannot be effective. Anything can, any strategy. But I don't want it to be the only strategy I rely on. Yeah, given the way that this map is set up, easy clap, thank you. Given the way this map is set up, it might have been more ideal to lay damage on Crown Slayer Round Slayer? Sorry, Skull Shatterer. Letting them walk around the map because, you know, we saw that Crown Slayer would, or 
Skull Shatterer would do that given the opportunity. But yeah, and not had to, uh, yeah, I don't know. It might have been a little bit more efficient and a little bit less uh, risky to deal with Skull Shatterer in a bit of a slower fashion, not just uh, doing what I did, but it worked out, so can't complain. <clears throat> Amia, it's over now. People always have a way of suppressing your expectations, even more so when it comes to the infected. Power begets madness, and desire begets depravity. They are cancers, eroding away at all that is good in the world. Had to take a screenshot, of course. I don't think this mask will have any particular significance for you. I think... If you want to keep it, I won't stop you. Just know that one day, your room will be filled with masks like this. All people must bear the consequences for the choices they make, infected or otherwise. <laughs> I'm sorry. Madam Chen, I... Listen, Amia. Those people... Reunion. If they're willing to listen to you, then you can do then do you can do everything in your power to help them. But if they've decided to abandon the voices of reason and dedicate their lives to the pursuit of madness, you should not hesitate any longer. She did no evil, nor did we put an end to any evil here today. This happened just because of a choice she made. Nobody has the right to stop her, and nobody has the right to blame her. But I I don't know. I always felt that we had a duty to help those in need. But why? Did it have to end like this? Why did she have to bear this consequence alone? Is what Roach Island is doing truly right? When one is infected with Orpathy, her life is no longer her own. Perhaps through the eyes of Rhodes Island, those who are on the wrong path can still be redeemed. But for me and the LGD, that is not the case. If necessary, we might have to. I just want to break this never-ending cycle. Even if it's only bit by bit. But if everything will just end up like this, then I can only... Amia? Are you doubting yourself? I... I don't know. The infected seem to be doomed to death, either by the hands of hostiles or through their own making. This tragedy will only continue to repeat, again and again. In this vicious cycle of hatred, there is only one way for the infected to regain hope other than eliminating Oropathy itself. And that is to cast aside these chains of thorns and put an end to hatred itself. Amia, mercy comes at a cost that not all can afford. Rhodes Island cannot become the LGD, nor can it do what the LGD does. Choosing the number of infected that you're willing to accept or choosing how many people to save through your benevolent methods, those are things that only Rhodes Island can do, or rather, these are things that only Rhodes Island is willing to do. But I cannot do these things, and especially not the LGD. At least, you will also honor his memory, not just his comrades. If your room will be filled with masks, then so be it. Remember, this is your business and no one else's. My little leader of Rhodes Island, if you've already steeled yourself to bear this burden, then make your decision and accept the consequences. Thank you, Madam Chen. LGD will clear the scene before finishing up. Afterwards, I'll get in touch with that other doctor. Doctor, let's go. <laughs> People's fates always have a strange way of intertwining. They cross with each other and they clash with each other. 
Even a Grand Master can be put in check by unexpected developments. But in the end, all is still well. Or at least, I can look forward to what the future has in store for us. <laughs> all right. I'm so glad you're back, Doctor. Now we can walk this path together. Me with you, and you with me. Ah, hello there. Uh, he didn't hear me too. A number Good of to errors see you. have been detected. Please confirm. Yep, we already we already confirmed those errors. But thank you for your thank you for your input. All right. So that would be <laughs> that will be chapter three. Very nice, very nice. We do, of course, still have some things to clean up. Yeah, we have missions left undone, and we have missions that are not as done as I might like. I think the ones that uh, I would like to get a better score on, probably I'll do that off stream, though I've been saying that for two or three streams now and I haven't done it yet. But yes, what I'm going to do for the immediate future, however, yes, yeah, employer. Le level 112, that's so old. Yes, <laughs> yes, I've been playing this game for quite a long time, quite a long time, and uh, only just now going through the, the story mode for the most part. But yes, so we just got Amia again. Um, all right, I just realized she might not be in my list of operators that I've favorited. Hmm, hold on. Give me just one second. Amia. Where is Amia? Oh, there she is. So yes, so we can now improve Amia's potential again. Because yes, Amia cannot be gotten through the normal, yeah, through the normal means. Very nice. And so yes, so I did also change Amia back to her default art. I, for whatever reason, I don't like the, I don't like the elite artwork quite as much. Or maybe it's just that I like the default one a little bit better. Yeah, there's also a few other skins for Amia. I haven't shown you any of these yet. Let's try out. Let's try out this one. Oh yeah, we'll put that on for a little while. And so with that, I think we will get back into the. Whoop, there we go. Get back into business. Yes. So. What do we want to do first? I think we'll get to, like I said, yeah, get back to wrapping up the rest of what we have undone in chapter three. Because yeah, after this, I had another thing planned. It kind of snuck up on me a little bit. <laughs> I knew that chapter three eight was the end of chapter, or chapter three eight. I knew that stage three eight was the end of chapter three, but it kind of, I didn't expect it to clear it in one, to be honest. That's it. But yeah, I didn't expect to clear it in one. So yeah, so... Yeah, anyway. Like I said, we'll do this stage and then we'll go on to what else I have planned. Because now, we're going to be doing a little bit, a little bit more of the... Or a little bit of the side content. We've already been through an event. A single event but there's far more Everyone, events in this game battle. than just the the one that we have seen so far Let's begin. yeah quite a few more and for the most part they are accessible to play still Leave or accessible in some form and so i had intended to and again i didn't have all that much time to talk about it or allude to it because i wasn't expecting to get to it this fast, to be honest. Let's see, what do we want to do for medics? I think Gabriel should be okay. You can't stop me. But yes. So, where was I? I was saying something about... <clears throat> Alright, yes, there's an event that I want to do, basically. Yeah, as I understand it, it is primarily, if not entirely, a story-based event. 
So essentially it'll just be a lot of reading, but it will be what it will be one way or the other. Quite a few enemies here, it would seem. More on the right hand side. Doing fine for right now, medic wise. Yeah, we're going to need to cover these other sides before too long, I think. Though unfortunately we don't have spectacular options for that, I don't think. Yeah. We don't have a lot of ground forces. Target mark. Everyone, follow me. I'll wait a little bit longer. Though I can't wait Waiting too much orders. longer, other else the enemy will get through. Moving out. There you are. Yeah, so but hopefully we're not going to get two enemies on the heads. top. Because that would be a bit of a bother. Yeah, Shayna Molman can only block one, of course. But I think we're doing pretty good. That was maybe maybe a little bit hasty. I could have waited a bit longer. But everything is doing well. Alright. Probably we don't need to worry too much. And since we don't need to worry about uh, the deployment points, we can just wait until uh, more opportune moments to use Texas' skill. This going right right. Your head. This order. should be a good time. There you are. Ah, okay. So this can't, uh, the sword rain can't hit invisible enemies. That's good to know. All right. So we're going to have to rely on <laughs> Chen's ability to stun, I think, if we want her to survive particularly well. Cement is pretty tough, so she shouldn't need to be... You shouldn't need to worry too much about her. Alright, yeah, we're doing fine. This is fine. Oh yeah, I forgot that uh, Chen was in healing range of two units. Where are my units if you need it? Maybe, maybe. We're doing pretty good so far, I think. But yes. Alright, we do have a little bit more to go. Yeah, we are now completely outside of the realm of what I uh, <laughs> had planned around, so... I guess we've been outside the realm, at least partially outside the realm of what we, what I've been planning for for a little bit. So maybe, maybe that's not so strange. Everyone, prepare for battle! Alright, so this one is a little bit more... A little bit more my speed, I suppose, in terms of stages. I get the feeling that this is a stage where we're going to want to deploy slow Just operators. Design. At the very least, it's one where they would be pretty useful, I think. Got it. You can't stop me. Hmm. We've got some enemies coming. I don't necessarily want to deploy another Vanguard, but I also don't want to enemies to pass by Texas, so... That should be fine. Texas... Texas? I feel like Texas... It might just be that Texas is... Okay, she's doing fine, she's doing fine. I was gonna say, it might just be that Texas is lower level or something, but I feel like she takes damage a lot faster than Fang does. But their their Ready defense isn't that different. It is. It's definitely different. It's very noticeably different. Hmm. Let me create a diversion. Probably could have or should have placed a QCI a little bit sooner, but it's fine. More dogs. Alright, this is a very dog heavy stage, it would seem like. Hmm. Alright, Exusiae, eliminate. There we go. Hmm. Alright, Fang is not 
doing spectacularly in terms of uh, survivability. So I think what we'll do is we'll switch out for Durnar. That way we can get a little bit more, a little bit more, uh, not range. Yeah, the ability to hit multiple targets. Hmm. Okay, so this is definitely, definitely a stage where we're going to want uh, a lot of range damage to be able to deal with threats before they arrive. Probably what we'd want is someone who can do some splash damage, uh, because I'm not confident I can deal with all these slugs on my own. Oh dear, who did? Oh. Right, so. We now have enemies who can uh, attack our flying units. Or flying units? Not, not flying. Our uh, non-melee units. There we go, ranged units. Hmm. Awaiting orders. So... This should be okay. Is it my turn? Hmm. Here. All right. So I think I maybe should have turned Amia the other way around, because uh, it would seem that uh, she's not going to get a whole lot done from where she is. Yeah, Exusiai can still lay down the damage pretty well. Hmm. But she can only do so so well. Maybe should have activated Gavial's skill a little bit sooner. Might have been able to save uh, I'm right here, doctor. someone. <laughs> she has a name. Orchid, there we go. Might have been able to save Orchid if we did, but we're doing okay. Yeah, so I need to keep in mind that... I need to keep in mind that our units are going to be... Uh, <laughs> that these drones are going to get through if I'm not very careful. Hmm... Alright, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. There you are. I think between uh, I think between Cruz and Amia, we should be able to deal with the last one. There we go. Is it my turn? Yes, this should be fine. I think we can manage this. Here I am. This doesn't. I don't feel great about and what's she, about she to happen, but it should be you. survivable. And let's stun as many as we can with Texas. Cement. And, ooh, I don't like that. That's a bad place for Chen, but it's not the worst place for Chen. Orchid can only apply a little bit more damage, but a little bit more damage is always nice. Hmm. Let's see. We're, okay, I think we're good. I think we've got this handled. There we go. Very good. I think we did all right. I think so too. All right. All right, and there's still more to be done. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of first-time viewers in here today. Yeah, thank you all for stopping by. Yes. Yes. So, concentrate our firepower upon swarms of enemies. If it's anything like the last stage, let's see. Now, to simple this time, test for your operator strength. Okay, if this is anything like last time, which the... It could be. We're probably going to want more range damage, or at least the ability to hit multiple enemies with our range damage. We'll see how this stage treats us, though. Alright, what side do we need to defend first? Left, it looks like. Okay. In position. Alright. I don't know... Well, again, I don't know anything for sure. So, there's no reason for me to be trying to make plans based on what I can't possibly know at this point. So let's just deploy units and we'll just sort of see what happens. We'll defend this side. If I'd placed Texas a little bit further forward, I could have possibly used her to stun more enemies, but oh well. I feel like we're gonna want Durnar sooner rather than later here. Yes, this is, uh, this is a lot of slugs, okay. So. You're definitely going to want more, uh, more AOE damage. 
I don't know that we have the appropriate amount of it for this stage. Awaiting orders. Cut them to Fortunately, pieces. we don't have to deal with uh, the enemies doing very much damage, it would seem. Charging. So that's going to be some comfort for us. Go ahead. Out of my hmm. way. Doing fine so far. Everyone, follow me. Probably, I get the feeling we're going to want another medic soonish. Interesting group of operators you have. Thank you. But yeah, I've talked about it a little bit before. But yeah, for the most part, I've uh, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I like to choose operators based on themes of what we're doing in the story. Yeah, that is why we have Texas and Exusiae with us because they, you know, were featured in the chapter in the chapter we've been playing, so on and so forth. Which Chan. Amiya is going to be in the team for the most part, like all the time. Hmm. Alright, I don't like uh, I don't like what I'm seeing right now. So, I'm pretty confident we're gonna need Gaviel's help. Yeah, going by the story? Yep. But yeah, it's not necessarily, you know, super strict. It's not like I'm only playing operators that we have seen in the story as you can probably guess, but, you know, I like to, to sort of lean into that aspect of the game. Alright, we're doing okay. We did have a slug pass by us, and we're about to have more. So, uh, we did lose, actually. So, oh well. So yes, having a splash caster or an AoE uh, sniper would be useful here, I think. I had speculated as much, but yeah, that definitely confirms it. Um, so let's, who do we want to swap out? I think Cruz is probably one of the less useful operators here. So yes, Lava would probably be a good, good choice. As far as teamwork's concerned, I don't mind, as long as nobody messes up. But yes, I was also using uh, oh, uh, Doberman earlier, so I did for a little while also uh, <clears throat> also try to prioritize using three star units to get the benefit of her passive. But yeah, I've also been trying to avoid using operators who uh, feature heavily in uh, other other stories and other events. <clears throat> but yeah. I haven't been, I haven't experienced too much of the story of this game on my own. Like I, like I've said, I've only gotten this far in the main story and I haven't done most of the event stories. I played a few events, but a lot of them, I just sort of played them long enough to get, you know, whatever free operator is available in the event and then stopped. Um, I wonder if there's a better place to put Orchid, but I think this is fine. We can only hit a few slugs at a time, Got it. but we can bunch up three or so. Shut up. I think we'll want to play Sternar. Actually, it might have been better, given how heavily the right side got swarmed, it might have been better to play Sternar there. Yeah, so far only missing one operator in my roster list. Oh, like out of all the operators in the game? That's pretty impressive. But yes. So yeah, like as I was saying, yeah, I've been focusing on just operators who are relevant to the story and focusing on operators, uh, yeah, uh, who are lower rarity at first. I've been trying to stay roughly on level or uh, a little bit below the recommended level of the game. Um, we're going to need more defense here. And we're definitely going to want lava before too long. Doing okay right now. How do we want to position Gabriel? I think here would be good to put her a little bit outside the line of fire. It might be good to swap Fang out for someone, though. We might want to wait until after we've uh, gotten all of the. Uh... Oh, 
Or lava. Everyone okay, we're gonna need to me. move her like soon because lava can't do anything. Hmm. Either of these positions would be okay. If I place her further forward, she's a little bit less. Well, I guess she's not particularly less defended. You can't stop me. Yeah, she's not especially less defended. Her being placed later would mean that she's a higher priority target anyway. Alright, let's uh, obliterate these slugs as much as possible. And yeah, I guess, yeah, the biggest threat that we have, that is ranged are the casters, and so... Lava having some resistance does make her not quite as imperiled as perhaps other operators might be. Texas is doing pretty okay. The fact that she can just sort of like stun enemies on command does make her really valuable for this. Oh, please activate the skill, thank you. Doing it. There's a lot of damage down there, but... We are now at a point in the stage where we don't need to worry about uh, enemies on the other side anymore. So, let's mop up as quick as we can. Very good, very good. Very good. All right. I didn't want to have to do that. But if we don't fight, the big guys will get us. Sit. All right. So it looks like we've got quite a bit more to go. Or possibly quite a bit more to go. I think what we will do... Yeah, I think rather than just keep going on like this, I think I... Again, I do want to get to that event that I was mentioning. And I do want to do another thing. So, real quick... We're going to the base. First time we've seen the base, I think. But yes, I'm being careful here because again, one thing I was getting at that I never quite got around to saying is that I'm trying to avoid showing operators who are spoilers. The expector, yeah, we love the movie. Oh, right. Speaking of which, the movie. But yeah, anyway, so for the most part, I've been trying to avoid showing operators who are, like, very relevant to certain story events, especially if I don't know the uh, capacity to which they are relevant to those story events. I would say that I'm trying to avoid spoilers, but in all honesty, I don't know what is a spoiler and what isn't in a lot of cases. I know, you know, one character I have who's a very big spoiler, certainly. But yeah, anyway. I just popped in to see what operators I had currently in my base, and there are none that I would consider to be a spoiler, so. Now, it is time for us to upgrade the base a little bit. I've not done that in quite a while, so I kind of forgot how to do it, to be honest, but. Let's see, where do we, there we go. So yes, so, the keel that we acquired some time ago, in, uh, yeah, 3-4, is used to upgrade your base letting you access another level of it. And so we will do just that. Upgrading. Very good. But yes. So... Once again, I it occurs to me that I have... It's been such a long time since I did this that I've completely forgotten... Uh, yeah, I had completely forgotten how this whole system works. So I can't explain it very well. Anyway, we've upgraded our base, and uh, we'll get back to that once I uh, know what I'm doing. So, now, time for me to navigate around to the event that I was talking about. That one's... There we go. Um, yeah, again, I really wasn't expecting to clear that stage quite so quickly, so I'm nowhere near as... Uh, prepared for this as I would like. Actually, I, it occurs to me that I've forgotten which uh, which event that I was going to do, so I've got to double check that too. Yes. Pardon the scuff. It happens to all of us, I suppose. Alright. 
So, yeah, I've got, as of, yeah, I don't remember when it was, but it was a few months ago, I charted out all of the chapters of this game and all of the events and came up with an order that I wanted to do all of them in. And so now, yes, okay. So what I'm looking for is the Stories of Afternoon event, which uh, I think, I think you don't access through this menu. I think you access it through a different menu now that I think about it. Because yes, yes like I said, it is a event that is basically just uh, a long list of cutscenes. <laughs> That's not, there it is. Okay. So yes, so. Stories of Afternoon. This is a collection of stories about uh, various Rhodes Island operators. So we're gonna go through that for a little while and then we will continue the game. We probably won't have time to do that tonight because like I said, I was planning on this being a bit of a short stream. My uh, throat's a little bit sore. And yeah, unfortunately it has remained sore. Sometimes it goes away when I start streaming, but uh, today is not one of those days. <laughs> 4 22 p.m. Clear. Rhodes Island Landship, Compartment 5, Training Grounds. Who? Ha! Cleave. Thrust. Swing. <sighs> That concludes today's training. Here, have a sports drink. Yeah, you know, yeah, well, let's offer a beverage. Thanks. Okay, I'm good. But this drink, ugh, it really tastes terrible. I guess that's why we didn't want to save it for ourselves. Doberman made it very clear that I'm supposed to drink this after exercise, and so is Franca, but it really tastes awful. The operator's training here. I've always worked so hard. I have to go all out. I can't hold anyone back. Oh, by the way, Doctor, I'm going on a mission with the other Blacksteel girls in a couple of days, and I won't be training here for a while. Thanks so much. So thanks so much for everything you've done for me here. You look like you have something to say. Huh. Receptive as always, Doctor. Am I so easy to read? Well, I'm really glad to go on a Blacksteel mission. It's just... I, uh... I have a few pets and, uh... I usually take care of them, but when I'm on a mission, I have to ask other people to do it. I usually ask the other Blacksteel girls. Liskarm and Franca help most of the time, but they're always on missions together and taking R&R &R together. If one's gone, so is the other. Franca likes to joke around, but she's actually really reliable. Puffball, Tiny, Kuro, and Stout all really love Franca. Sometimes Jessica takes care of them if I can't find those two, but um, uh, this one time, Kuro kind of startled her and I think she was going to cry. Can I ask? What exactly are these pets? Huh? Didn't I bring Puffball and the gang around to meet you, Doctor? Puffball, Tiny, and Kuro are all Originium snails, and Stout is a Sargon Desert Metal Crab, and every one of the last one of them is cute as a button. Hmm. Hmm? What's wrong, Doctor? Oh, no. I know that look in your eyes, Doctor. No, 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 no. You can't eat them. Not Puffball, not Tiny, not Kuro, not Stout. You can't eat any of them. I know you've been eating all kinds of weird stuff between behind Dr. Calcite's back, I'm going to ask you to take care of them, but now, hmm, no way. What am I going to do? We're all going out together this time. What's going to happen to my babies? Hmm, the other operators are all busy with their own things, so I can't just go up and ask them out of nowhere, can I? Couldn't hurt to try. Uh, like, uh, try asking the next one who walks by. Huh? Take this seriously. You're joking, right, Doctor? Who will it be? Oh, I hope it's someone reliable. Someone's coming. Your footsteps are very light, with a steady pace, very steady. It must be a great warrior. Huh? 
What's that fragrance? I remember this scent. It's... Melantha. Huh? Y y yes, it's me. Good afternoon, Doctor. Vanilla. Um, so, what can I do for you? Sorry, it's kind of unusual for, that, for you to ask me something. I just... Not at all. You're a big help, Melantha. Thank you so much. It's nothing. And actually, I'm just going to ask Steward. But really, I'm glad I could help. Oh. She's blushing. <laughs> Melantha is so timid off the battlefield. Don't worry. I'll take great care of Vanilla's pets. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Steward. Think nothing of it. I really won't have you standing on ceremony. We're friends. How could we be friends? You two have been with Rhodes Island for so long. You're far more senior than me. Does company seniority means matter so much? Oh, by the way, is Melantha always also going on this mission? None of my superiors mentioned it. Yes, I am. It was decided kind of suddenly. They only just told me. It was Master Franca who said she wanted to see how my swordsmanship was coming along. The timing was right, so she applied to have me join the team. Oh, Franca? She's been teaching you sword her sword techniques? Yes. Is she actually a good teacher? I know she's really reliable, but I hope she isn't a bad influence on a good girl like Melantha. Oh no, the more I think about it, the more worried I get. Not at all. Franca likes to play around, but she's also very serious when it comes to sword fighting. It's all thanks to Franca that I've come as far as I have. She's a great influence on me. Oh. Uh, sorry. I may have gone a bit overboard. Two are actually pretty close. But I'm glad to know that Franca is a good teacher anyway. I won't worry. Franca is a great sword master. I've never seen her lose a sparring match to anyone in Blacksteel. Master is amazing. I have a lot more to learn. Oh. Uh, right. Sorry. But it's time for me to go. I have an appointment with Ansel for a routine checkup today. Routine checkup? Yes, for Oropathy. Oh. What, again? Didn't you just get checked the day before yesterday? And medical gave you a new drug after the last checkup, right? Yes, it's because they want to keep tabs on my new medication. Nothing to worry about. Dr. Warfarin says my infection is under control. <sighs> I'm glad. You better get going for now. Thanks again. We could get tea when you're done with your tech checkup if you have time. Oh, tea? Um, yeah, sounds good. It's a date. Uh, thank you again for your help, Steward. And thank you, Vanilla. Me? Huh? Mm, nothing. Never mind. Oh? I feel like Melantha changed a lot. She's in such a good mood now. You think so, t you think so too? Melantha is much more confident now than when we first formed the squad. Confident? Oh, yes, it's confidence. I've always felt that Rhodes Islanders are different from the infected I've met in the past. I think it's because you all live. You keep pushing so hard to live your lives, if that makes sense. Sometimes I forget about the whole infection thing altogether. It's really incredible. Huh? <laughs> incredible? I don't... No, I don't think so. Rhodes Island has been forced to get involved in a lot of things, but it's still essentially a pharmaceutical company. It's always been mostly about developing medicine and the treatments for the infected. An infected person who would make the effort to come here for treatment, she's going to be the type who won't give up on life, right? It makes sense when you put it that way. That's why we have to work with other organizations to make up for what we don't have, such as the case, for example, with Blacksteel. Thanks to professionals like you, Vanilla, our operator, uh, thanks to op professionals like you, Vanilla, our operators are under less pressure. No, I'm not even a professional yet. I'm still in training. It's the superior officers who are professional mercenaries. This Garm and the others didn't have to take a test to come here like I did. A test? Yes, both practical and written exams. I spent a week in the library preparing for that written test. I didn't even sleep. <laughs> Uh, you're a hard worker. That's a bit of a surprise, though. 
Black Steel is more serious about our cooperation agreement than I thought. Why would you say that? Since the Orpathy crisis began, a lot of Black Steel mercenaries got infected. We're okay, though. And Orpathy isn't that scary to us mercenaries. Our work is dangerous enough already. We'll die in the end either way. Right. On the other hand, some clients don't want to hire infected, so we're getting fewer contracts, making less money, and probably causing some headaches for the bosses. I think that's around the time we started cooperating with Rhodes Island. Uh, Franca told me about it, but I don't know the details. I see. And I'm very lucky I got to come here and see so many things and meet so many people I would have never or I never would have encountered before. Every single day. It's really fulfilling. Not to mention free dessert in the cafeteria once a week. I probably gained a lot of weight since coming here. <coughs> Sit. Probably not. As long as you keep your nutrition balanced, it's good to eat a little more. Take care not to overeat, but health is what matters. No, 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 Stuart, you don't understand. It's not about what other people think, it's about how it affects your mood. Uh, oh, is that right? Darn straight, Vanilla knows what she's talking about. Ah, Blaze, oh. Blaze, who's this little girl? This little rascal, she's Dora, one of my ador adorable little friends. And please, try to chill out, Vanilla. I don't want you trying to trade business cards with a child. Nice to meet you. Uh, hello. Good afternoon, Miss Dora. Did you take your medicine today? She pulled a half an hour of storybook time out of me on account of it tasted too bitter. I'm on to you, little rascal. You said it was too bitter last time, too, and Dr. Calcite fixed up the taste. But, but it is bad. You said so yourself. I don't take the same stuff as you. No excuses. Aww. Um, I need to go. Huh? Oh, it's time for class? Yes, the medic lady said she'd teach us how to make paper flowers today. Will you make one for me? I'll give you a candy. <laughs> I'll think about it. Bye-bye, mister. Miss. No running in the hall. You'll fall and hurt your... Oof, she fell. This kid. <laughs> she's got a lot of energy. Yeah, she looks quiet, but she's a wrecking ball. Warfarin has to scare her into behaving. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anyway, I've never seen you two hang out. Aren't you usually with the Black Steel Girls Vanilla? Did Amiya organize a mixer? Huh? This? We're not... Blaze, don't choke. That sound like a joke? Honestly, I think we should have a mixer where we all get together and relax. I'm sure we'll make time. And anyway, have we had a few private functions? I know I've seen Blaze drinking and puking with quite a lot of contract, quite a few contract operators. Those don't count. That must be the boozy nightmare Liskarm talks about sometimes. Uh, by the way, was that little girl a Rhodes Islander? Dora? She's here for treatment, so I th think she counts? Yes, but we're classified differently. Combat personnel are different from logistics personnel, and there's a few others. It's all HR stuff, you know? You sound unsure. It's not my wheelhouse. Why are you so fixated on Dora? I don't know. I guess I'm just curious. I saw her when I first got here, too. Oh? I came to give the doctor my paperwork, and there was this cute infected girl and her parents right waiting outside the door. The girl, though still small, was very well behaved. She just held onto her tattered doll. She didn't make a sound. It was no big deal, but it made an impression. It must have been Dora. That doll was a mess. I told her I'd buy her a new one, but she wouldn't have it. I ended up getting Bibby to stitch it up for her. So it was her. I think I remember. She's Victorian, right? I think so. Her medical records say she was involved in a street fight and inhaled a bunch of originium dust. I took a look at it before when I was helping Hibiscus get her, give her some shots. The children in that ward come from different backgrounds, but they're all in the same place now. Hardigan likes to play with them, and Ansel always stays late after medicating them to tell stories and such. They're all very happy kids. Dora's especially optimistic. She always says she wants to join my squad when she grows up. Where do you think she gets it from? want to join Blaze's team, she must be a little unhinged. Hey. 
It's a fairly common story around here. Just pick any of the medical compartments at random and you'll find a few people have been through similar things. Yeah, it's nothing new. The world sucks. Is she very sick? Her family didn't look rich. I didn't think they'd be able to afford treatment. Honestly, I kind of didn't expect to see her again. A normal place where the bosses have their heads screwed on right definitely wouldn't take a dying patient with no money. There's a better way to phrase it. But Blaze is right. There is, there's no cure for oropathy, and even an organization like ours has limited resources. That's why the infected are in such a tough position. But Rhodes Island didn't turn them away. Rhodes Island isn't small, but I guess you can't say it's a really big organization either. Since coming to Rhodes Island, I've seen a lot of people, a lot of infected people who came here for medical attention. And some of them even came forward and said they were willing to fight. All of us in Reserve Op Team A4 did exactly that. You too, Stuart? Of course. I hadn't even heard of this place before the Black Steel Partnership. You can imagine such a company. A company that saves the infected and doesn't even get paid anything for it. That's not quite right. Huh? It... it's not? It's not that we don't get paid anything, we just get paid without money. If one side has to pay too much, that's actually a big burden on both sides. An arrangement like that wouldn't last. No matter how sweet Amia may be, she wouldn't do something like that. We do provide treatment, but it's definitely not free. Here, we've got a fine example standing right here. Oof, Blaze, you're gonna break my shoulder if you keep patting me like that. You can choose all kinds of different ways to contribute to Rhodes Island in exchange for the treatment we provide. Definitely not just fighting, us combat operators are actually the rarest bunch. We got logistics to handle the paperwork, engineerings to keep Rhodes Island at stealth trucking along, envoys to go talk to other organizations, not to mention procurement and cleaning stuff. Even if you want to wash dishes in the cafeteria, that's fine, as long as it helps, you can do it. Hearing it again, it does sound pretty idealistic. Is it that bad? Not at all. But, but, what can a little kid like Dora do to help Rhodes Island? You saw, they're about to learn how to make origami flowers. Huh? Paper flowers they fold will be used to decorate the mixer, and they'll be given to every operator as they come back to Rhodes Island. Since when is there a mixer? Just now, I decided. Whatever, the point is there's work to be done and the work those little guys do looks a little bit different from the work I do, but it's all important to Rhodes Island. Now, let's be real. I know you guys have been calling our company a sweatshop. That was a joke, just a joke. Yeah, sure, that's what I say when I tease the doctor. Please, please, please. Hmm, eh, my opinion is a little bit different from that of Blaze. We... It almost feels like we skipped over some dialogue there. No, we're good. Yeah, there's some of us who trade our labor to Rhodes Island in exchange for treatment, and many more who coincidentally have interests aligned with the company. Of course, there are many who truly believe in Amia and her philosophy and are willing to give everything to that end. But we don't necessarily all share those ideals. Sometimes we just happen to be on the same path in the same direction and end up side by side in this moment. I think I understand, but it's all right. You don't have to think about it too much. The important thing is that we're all getting a little bit it better. Things are good for now. People are happy. As you are, Vanilla, you've been smiling a lot. As are you, Vanilla, you've been smiling a lot lately. Uh, oh, I have? It's probably just because I'm so fulfilled here at Rhodes Island, although there's still a lot of things I'm not used to. Like doors that suddenly open on their own, and the last time I was in the corridor, some medical device suddenly started talking to me. Jumped out of my skin. <laughs> uh, I suppose you aren't used to such things. Adnokio was telling me about the rubber band launcher he helped Exusiai make. He said you snapped it in half. He made that? This is, sorry, the rubber band startled me so I acted on instinct. I'm really sorry. That's okay, Adakiel wasn't angry. He's a man of few words, but he's a gentle soul. I could testify to that. But, um, if he ever comes to you with any more inventions that cause you trouble, do let me know. Or Melantha. Hey, I just had a thought. Maybe the whole sweatshop thing actually fits? What's this again? 
I mean, those kids, what are they? Child labor? An early investment? An early investment? Yeah, it'll pay off, won't it? Rhode Island teaches these kids all kinds of things. The little punks are probably better than us at a bunch of stuff. Like I get a headache looking at numbers. And then they, when they toss letters in with the numbers. <sighs> anyway, they're all probably going to be awesome. Way more awesome than me. They'll do all kinds of stuff I never could. So, you know, it's a return on investment. A return? Not necessarily. Shh, let me dream. Don't say it. Huh, Zamia. Looks like another mission. I kind of want to blow it off. I can just blow it off, right? Well, eh, I gotta go. Eh, vanilla, steward, let's get a drink in that mixer. <clears throat> she talks like that, but she still walks away with a smile on her face. Are we really going to have a mixer? What if I don't drink? Oh, don't mind Blaze. She's always like that. She won't force you. No? That's kind of a disappointment. Huh? Okay, this is my place. Moving on very quickly there. Come on in. All right. Ah, so this is where Vanilla lives. Don't laugh. It's kind of a mess. I mean, it doesn't look particularly messy to me. It looks uh, pretty clear. I guess I can't see it without the operators, but... Oh, here's Puffball and the gang. Puffball? What a cute... The... Name. Vanilla, your pets, they are these, these are your pets? Yes. They're all cute little critters from my hometown. Hmm. I fear the word cute has lost all meaning. Oh, don't worry, Stur steward. Earl may be big, but he's really the gentlest of all. It's so hard to fight on the, them on a battlefield. An instructor Doberman always yells at me, but I really can't help it. I can tell you really like animals, Vanilla. And, well, these pets, they... They certainly have character. <laughs> they sure do. They're very well behaved. They don't make a mess. Just give them a little food and water every day and they're good to go. Oh, but be careful not to press the spikes on the shells, otherwise... Uh, otherwise... They explode. Ex explode? Vanilla, is it really okay to have a pet like this in your room? Huh? Of course. I got permission from Amia and Dr. Calcite. This terrarium is made of a special material that insulates the originium. It's very safe. Also, I prepared their food already. See? Just press the button on the side, like so, and it automatically feeds them. Hehe. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? I actually think it's crazier that you're here keeping originium slugs. Sorry, what? Nothing. Nothing. Hmm? Oh, and for water, they really only need a little bit every other day. Keep the environment nice and dry, just like my hometown. Understood. I'll make sure not to overwater them. These originium snails and that metal crab, they look nicer than any I've seen before. Your hometown is in Sargon, correct? That's right. It's a very remote place in the Sargon countryside. What's it like? It's, uh, well, the very poor, poor place with very few resources. You can't farm there because there's nothing but sand. You have to hunt to survive. All the children in my tribe are raised to be great hunters. You too? Yes, me too. Then why did you join Blacksteel? It's kind of embarrassing, but for money. Money? I mean, that is the reason that most people have jobs, yes? Yep, Blacksteel. Blacksteel Worldwide is just a mercenary group. Maybe everyone joins with a different goal, but a lot of mercenaries just need money. And that's me. Is that right? But it seems though Jessica doesn't want for money. Jessica? She has some other motivation, I guess. She doesn't talk about these things much, so I don't really know. But where I come from, everyone is very poor. It doesn't rain much in the Sargon deserts. When it does, the water accumulates in small oasis pools and caravans cross the entire desert looking for them. Stopping briefly as they pass by our little tribe to take some take out some goods to trade. It's mostly barter, no one has much money, but every home has a little something to trade. The caravans usually stays for just a day or two, and when it gets cold at night, so everyone gets, gathers around the fire. We eat a little jerky, the adults drink a couple of sips of wine to ward off the cold, and the 
kids get a handful of dates to snack on. The traders tell the children about what's going on in the world outside the desert, usually something new and fun. Like how in the far, far east there are fragrant cities with flowers everywhere, huge metropolises overflowing with wealth and happiness. I could go for some of that. Right? But since I've been out here, I haven't had a chance to check it and see if the east is really so great. Anyway, having heard stories like that, it's only natural that I'd be curious about the outside world. There's no way I could stay in the desert and be a regular old hunter. So I followed the merchants out to a small town on the edge of the desert. And you found out things weren't as good as you thought? They're not so good, but also not so bad. At least the food is better than back home. I didn't have much money on me. Everything my family had still wasn't enough. Even the hostel was too expensive to stay in. It's not like I had a lot of options besides mercenary work, but I don't regret it. Uh, anyway, that's enough of that. Where's your hometown, Stuart? I'm from Karag. Wow, I heard it snows there all year round. Is that true? I've never seen snow. <laughs> and you never will at Rhodes Island. Really? Well, I'll have to save up. Jessica says those new body insulation suits are really expensive. Uh, that might be a little bit overkill. Melantha was so happy you asked her to help. Though she may not show it, which is both a strength and a weakness of hers. Really? I hope I'm not being a bother. Certainly not. It's no bother to Melantha, or myself for that matter. Now, off on your mission, Vela, and rest assured I will take excellent care of Puffball and the others. Oh, just a minute, steward. Hmm? Was there something else? Um, not that I totally understand everything you and Blaze were talking about, but next time Reserve Op Team uh, Reserve Op Team A4 visits the kid in the treatment wards, please bring me along. Let's learn how to make paper flowers so we're ready for that mixer. Very nice. Oh yeah. So, I think we're probably going to call it there for tonight. Yeah, it went a little bit longer than I was expecting. But, uh, but yeah, I definitely don't think my, my throat's going to hold out for too much longer. With uh, as many stories as we have yet to, uh, yet to go over. So yeah. So, anyway. So I chose this one in large part because it doesn't have a whole lot of story connections to other events. <laughs> as far as I could tell. But it's also, I think it's also a nice little bit of uh, another look at Rhodes Island. Because a lot of the the things people talk about with regards to the game are, you know, just the combat operators and the combat operations, because that's, you know, that's what the gameplay is. But, yeah, I think a lot of people sort of get a the idea that Rhodes Island is a much more sort of... Uh, I want to say militaristic, though I don't know if that's necessarily the most ideal word for it. Yeah, a much more sort of military combat focused group than it really is. Because yes, you know, you have your operators, they are, you know, capable of dealing with whatever enemies you face them uh, or that they, they face. But, you know, uh, Rhodes Island as an organization is a relatively small fish in the very, very big pond that is Terra. And we will be getting into that, including the the very big fish, in uh, in the days to come. It'll probably be a while before we talk about any fish, but that's it. But yes, so yeah, so like I said, sort of in a circum circumspect, fragmented way. Yeah, we're going to be going through stories of afternoon. And then we'll be getting back to a little bit more of the normal game, the main story. Then we'll be getting back to uh, other events. Yeah, I think, I don't know how much I can go over. I guess I could probably mention the names of some of these events. But uh, but yeah, for instance, like the next one that we're going to be doing is uh, Children of Ursus. <clears throat> but yeah. So, yeah, we'll be doing Stories of Afternoon, Children of Ursus. Or Stories of Afternoon, Chapter 4, Children of Ursus, Chapter 5, doing another event, so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, 
Once we get uh, a bit later into the game, we're going to have a section where we do a lot of events because there are so many more events than there are story chapters. But yeah, especially now because they keep adding events. But, uh, but yeah, so we're going to at some point have a big, big stretch of just events. But we should be able to, you know, play the game during some of them. So you won't just have me doing audiobook narration like this, though. I enjoy it. I enjoy doing some narration. And I hope you all enjoy it as well. But yes, anyway, with all that said, though, it's about time that we wrap up for tonight. So, as always, I would like to open the floor for anyone who would like to make a raid suggestion. If nobody has any raid suggestions, then I can, as always, or I can always, not as always, but I can always uh, come up with a target myself. And yeah, while we are thinking about that, let's go over the schedule. Yes, like I have already said, the streaming week for me has concluded with the conclusion of this stream. And yeah, so next week, I'll probably be doing some more Arc Nights on Monday or Tuesday, depending on circumstances, as well as on next Saturday as well. And I'll be streaming a little bit earlier, if at all possible. Yes. So most likely I would be, I don't know when I would be streaming Monday or Tuesday specifically, because I'd have to work around whatever else may happen. But uh, yeah, Tuesday, could be basically at any time. Monday, it has a very limited range of time in which I could stream. And yeah, Saturday most likely would be early or mid to late afternoon, possibly the evening as it was today. You'll see, we'll see. We'll see, yes. And as for next Wednesday, that will be the usual Coffee Talk collab with Sheppy Sheps should be around 8 30 p.m central time and yeah that should be everything that needs to be said it looks like we don't have any raid suggestions unless anyone has a last minute suggestion no it would seem all right so tonight i think we're going to go and drop by svela svela prisera got none all right no worries, no worries, like I said. But yes, so, we're going to go visit Zvela Prisera. Yes, a Valkyrie VTuber. But yes, she is playing some Backpack Hero, it looks like. Which is a game that I've heard of, but I'm not tremendously familiar with. But yeah. One thing I don't do very often is I don't plug my Twitter or my YouTube channel. But, if anyone uh, would like to see some more of me or would like to uh, be updated on when streams are happening. Yeah, seeing more of my videos, go to my YouTube channel. Seeing stream announcements, go to my Twitter. That's basically everything that I do on Twitter. I just <laughs> say when a stream is happening, more or less. Not really, a, not a big social media guy, but it is what it is. So anyway, with all that said, Ba, 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 raid, if I can spell the word properly. Yes, there we are. Spell it for Sarah. Yes. The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. I like to keep it simple around here. So, I hope you've all enjoyed the time here tonight. I've certainly enjoyed playing Ark Knights. It's always a, always a pleasure. But yes. So, Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you've had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.